Hello guys, long time no see, again, not many vids on this channel lately, but uh, yeah, if you saw the last video, you'll kind of know what went on there. Since then, I managed to break my hand, so there wasn't a great deal of gaming going on the last couple of months. Uh, it's picked up recently, last few weeks, uh, so I'm going to talk about some of the games that I've been playing and show you a few pickups. It's really slowed down a hell of a lot though, being off work, I've been a bit skint, but also the collecting in general is just slowing down, right down to a halt, because... Uh, all my shelves are full, that's it. That is my collecting glass ceiling. Once the shelves are full, I don't want any more because I can't be asked getting more shelves. It's just too much hassle. So yeah, my collection is plateaued. Um, and if I want more, I need to get rid of some. So it's a good system because it forces you to separate the wheat from the chaff. Problem is, I don't think there's too much chaff left. Well, I say that's a problem. All the games are killer. Not really a problem. Okay, they're not all killer, but they're at least... Everything I've got is stuff that I'm interested in trying out, or that I already know is genuinely awesome. So, yeah, there's really no chaff in here, so to speak. Um, anyway, pickups. Did a bit of a trade with the legend that is Tootie UK. Uh, I sent him a game that he was after, and he sent me a couple of uh, original Xbox games, which is my favourite console to collect for. Uh, he sent me Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, which bizarrely I didn't already own so that's cool to have that I really do like that game awesome and he also sent me uh, Judge Dread, Dread vs Death now I already had this um, but I didn't tell him that I already had this until he'd already sent it out so you know it's, it's trade fodder I guess cheers tootie nice one um, now then what else did I get from a shop in a charity shop is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Burnout 3 I got. Um, never played the Burnout games very much uh, but I have heard that they are fun and that is my primary goal when gaming isn't it everybody's. Yeah they're supposed to be good uh, so Burnout 3 got that for £1 in Oxfam so there you go Burnout 3. Um, now then next game bit of a rigmarole getting this. Uh, so a listing on eBay uh, went for it, it was an auction, uh, put in what I thought was a, a fairly low bid for this game um, and I won it and I was really surprised to win this game for I think it was just under £11 and uh, so I was fucking really ecstatic to get it, it's one of the uh, less common shall we say, I don't like using the word rare but it's one of the less common games on the original Xbox and it's uh, Digimon Rumble Arena 2 um, so on that initial listing that I put a bid on for, to get this for just under £11 is a pretty fucking good deal. Uh, but, uh, as it happens, I hadn't really checked the listing thoroughly enough. Now, I'd looked at the category of the listing, which was very good, remember that. And uh, I looked at a little bit of the description, but I hadn't read all the way down the description, there was quite a lot there. You know, I saw that it was complete. I saw that it was listed as very good condition, that was good enough for me, I put my bid in. Um, now, uh, yeah, had I read the entire listing, I would have seen that the seller somehow thinks that a cracked disc can be listed under the very good classification. Uh, I mean, it's just, is it this one? Right, yeah, so, this looks fine, that side, lovely, nothing wrong with that. Turn it over, look at that bad boy. Oh, look at that. Can you see that, bad boy? Yes. Now, the seller had said in his description that this crack was cosmetic only. All right, mate. All right. Cosmetic only does not interfere with play. Game works fine, he said. No, it did not work fine. He was a liar. Um, but yeah, um, so that was really annoying. So, went tried to get a refund. He stipulated, of course, that buyers are to pay the return fee for any returns. Uh, but I didn't really like that because it's not really a return when it's broken and you have wrongly listed as something as working when it is not. That's not really a return by choice because I just changed my mind. You have sold a defective product. You have lied on your listing. There you go. You really are. In it is incumbent upon the seller then to pay for return postage. But anyway, tried to get that. Um, sent a message. You know. I need a refund, I would like you to give me the return postage as well since it's your fault. 
uh, didn't get it, didn't even get a reply back after that, um, or any details where, uh, you know, he didn't ask me for my details to give a re refund, he didn't, get, didn't get a refund basically, what I'm trying to say. So I opened a case and it took a little while, ended up getting a refund for the thing. So I have this defective game uh, for free, you know, it's sitting around the house, and I thought, well I need to fill it up now, come on, I need to fill it up. And you know, I've been after this game for a little while. So I went out and bought on eBay a loose copy of it. So yeah, the original disc can get knotted. And this working disc, which I have tested, can go in there. So I now do have a complete copy of Digimon A Rumble Arena A2. Oh yes! The story ended positively. Um, however, you know, I'd probably paid a little bit more than I wanted for. I mean, the person was asking just under 15 quid uh, all in for a loose copy of the disc, which is overpriced. It was a buy it now. I couldn't be asked waiting around. If you're patient and lucky, you might be able to get the game a little bit cheaper, but not too much cheaper. It certainly averages higher than that. Uh, but yeah, to have a complete version of it now for just under 15 quid, after all that palaver, was all right. So happy to have that finally in the collection. Yeah, it's one of the, like I said, less common games in the Xbox uh, collection there. Um, yeah, if anybody knows any hidden gems, any very uncommon uh, games for the system or stuff that you think I might need to check out, tell me because I um, feel like I'm getting really close to the end of uh, collecting for the original Xbox, which is sad. It's a sad thing because uh, I really love that system. And I know it's got a big library. I certainly don't have anywhere approaching even 50% of the library, but I'm trying to be discerning, you know, I'm, I'm really, I really don't want chaff, I really don't want to just collect for the sake of it, so, yeah, um, but any, any hidden gems uh, that you think I might not already know about, or imports, or anything like that, Xbox is region free with a little jiggery pokery, uh, region free, yeah, so, uh, uh, but yeah, let me know, and that, that's it on that, so, anyway, uh, one other pickup I got left, now that I can speak again, uh, was this one, Watch Dogs on the Wii U. Yeah, not the greatest thought of game. I think that's it mainly fell victim to the fact that it was hugely hyped before release. So of course people were let down when they saw that it was just an average game. But it still doesn't mean it's a shit game, because it's not amazing, it's average. From what I've played so far anyway, it looks all right. Uh, the Wii U version gets ragged on as well, uh, saying that it's not great, although the comparisons that I've read to be fair, we're comparing it to the PS4 and Xbox One versions, uh, if it's even on that system. But yeah, um, so it's not really fair to compare it to those systems. But um, yeah, I got it on Wii U mainly because it was on some crazy reduced price in game. I think it was uh, on 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 the shelf for five pounds. I used a bit of store credit that I had left on my card, so I got it for three pounds. Three English pounds for Watch Dogs. Surely you can't go wrong with that. There's got to be three quid's worth of fun in there somewhere. Uh, I have not delved deeply into it yet but uh, come on three quid can't be bad for that so yeah uh, so that's all the pickups it's been really really uh, slow lately um, yeah various reasons but um, anyway what I have been playing when I get the chance I don't remember if I've mentioned this in the previous video but I've still been playing Xenoblade Chronicles and um, I'll link you to a uh, zero punctuation review of this game pretty much nails it uh, he does. <laughs> Obviously he's characteristically scathing about most games, even ones he likes. He's quite critical because he makes better videos, more funny. But um, he has some positive things to say about this. It's a beautiful game world to explore and it's, it's huge. So the exploration aspect is brilliant. When you keep coming up across new areas and new enemies to fight and new things to collect and blah de blah de blah. It's about the exploration mainly finding these new little secret paths here and there, um, caves and stuff and whatever. Uh, yeah, and the fighting's good and the rest of it, you know, um, it does make you wait a hell of a long time to get into the uh, the mecha that is advertised on the front of the box, this crazy huge robot. It takes you a very long time to get to the point in the game where they give you that. And even when you get it, it is a bit of an anticlimax because uh, well, it's not. It's not. It's it's not as hugely overpowered as you might think that it's going to be. 
Um, and you also don't initially get the flying uh, ability, which is what you're kind of waiting for when you when you want it. You want to be able to fly over those worlds, those lands, and reach uh, higher places that you've been teased by for the last several hours of gameplay. You don't get the flying ability straight away, but uh, yeah, I, I've I, I played for quite a few hours up until the point where I got the robot, and I haven't really played it much since. I don't know what that says about it, but uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I like it. Not amazing. Not rubbish. Better than average is my in-depth review for Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, yeah, Rodia the Sky Soldier gets a lot of flack. Looks terrible. Graphics are rubbish. Uh, feels unfinished. Weird how they didn't make the Wii game the main game. Weird how they didn't allow you to use Wii the Wii Mote on the Wii U version. And but aside from all that, I still had fun with it. I have. It takes a little while to get used to the controls. They are a bit clunky, and I'm talking about the Wii U version here, the one that people rag about. Uh, yeah, controls can be a bit clunky, but I have had some fun with it. What I'm saying, I think I might have mentioned that in a previous video. I don't know. I haven't been making many videos, so it's all uh, it, it's all a bit of a haze, really. Uh, right, played this for a little bit recently. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, the original on uh, original Xbox. Great fun. You can't go wrong. It's Star Wars. It's got the sound effects. It's got the blasters. It's uh, it's really well set up. Uh, it plunks you straight into these these battle scenarios and uh, from recognisable locations in the unfortunately prequels. Um, but yeah, really fun. Definitely recommend that game. And uh, yeah, it's a shame to see that the new one has kind of eschewed uh, the single player campaign element of it, as is the trend these days. Don't get me started on that. Oh, no. Yeah. So, anyway. I also went back to Super Mario 3D Worlds. I uh, finally finished this game. Uh, I say finished, I haven't 100%ed it yet. And it's definitely a game that entices you back, uh, you know, for the challenge of 100% in it to get all the green stars to get all of the, the, the achievements that you can get on it. Um, it's always fun looking for the, the green stars is, is what I'm going through at the minute. Um, having finished most of the actual levels, including obviously the final level. But it's always fun looking uh, for the green stars, you know, exploring the levels, these different challenges you need to find, things you need to do. Uh, yeah, it's good. I really like this game. What more can you say? Uh, Another game that is awesome, um, and I hadn't really considered this before, I uh, picked it up uh, in the shop uh, recently. How much was this? It wasn't much at all. I think it was about a fiver. Uh, it's Alice Return to Madness. Uh, now you can see it's got a 15 rating there, it's, and I'm so glad they, you know, they had the balls to make this, what it, uh, to, to stick with the idea of what it is, which is an adult game. Uh, you know, it's it's weird. It's very, very weird. And that's good, because you don't see enough weird. You do not see enough weirdness in video games. Uh, it's bizarre. Obviously, drawing from its original, the original literature, which was bizarre. Some say it was an allegory for hallucinogenic experiences, amongst other things. Um, but yeah, you know, the, um, the, the, the conversations, the, the dialogue in it, is sometimes incomprehensible, uh, which is bizarre, but gives it it's part of the charm. It's basically a platformer, an action platformer. Uh, it's brilliant in everything it does. You know, the levels are beautiful and fun to explore. The uh, the abilities that you've got make the game feel varied enough that you've always got something going on. So always something to find, something to do, something to kill. Uh, you know. Um, yeah, getting into secret areas by becoming small or uh, that kind of thing. The fighting uh, mechanics are good on it as well. It's got a lock-on system. It's got various different attacks. Uh, the enemies that come at you have different, you know, interesting and challenging, you know, patterns of attack. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun to play. It's a good game. Platformer, uh, exploration, all the rest of it. You don't see that many 3D platformers, or are they all hiding from my gaze? Uh, I know I've just held another one up just then with 3D World, but um, on the main, they're not as ubiquitous as they once were. But this, if you're into platformers and you haven't already tried it, I can definitely recommend. Uh, yeah, it's, 
I want to say shades of um, uh, of Darkstalkers, but I'd probably be very, very wrong to, to make that comparison. I'm just thinking about the fighting and the locking on and just forget it. Very good game. Get this game if you have the ability to. And that is it, everybody. I will see you again hopefully soon. Hopefully I won't leave it another month till the next vid. And till then, see you guys. Be well.